My name is Katie Yu. I write a letter when I have a crush so intense that I don't know what else to do. There are five total. Peter with the beautiful eyes, Kenny from camp, Lucas from homecoming, John Ambrose from Model UN, and Josh, the boy next door. Hey you, it's Katie U, and I'm back. You read the title of this video, as I said, this channel's a democracy. The people keep asking, I keep delivering. So here I am, I had a blast making this. This is my first lookbook I have filmed in three months, guys. So I think, tell me if you think I was a little bit rusty. Don't know. I really hope you enjoy. Again, always the disclaimer, this is all just for fun, for shits and giggles, for outfit inspiration. And so here is what the different college majors would wear part four. See you on the other side. Hope you enjoy. All of us harbor dark recesses of violence and horror. I'm just a man hiding in the corner with a camera, watching. It's about time I covered the film major. I would say that I'm a film major, so well, technically my major is modern culture and media, but that's a mouthful, so let's just let's just not call it that. <laughs> you can recognize us film kids from a mile away, let's be honest. We're usually slinging some camera bag over one shoulder, sporting a DSLR in our left hand, a bulky F tripod in our right, looking high and low for angles with good lighting and retweeting niche A24 memes that nobody understands. Safe to say this character is not too far off from me. I am her, she is me, whatever. But anyways, the film student lifestyle usually comprises of surviving long days on set and constantly carrying equipment from location to location. So I've learned firsthand that comfiness is a must. Here I opted for a 90s twist with some baggy mom jeans and chunky filas because not only are they comfy, but we film kids are for some reason always weirdly nostalgic for eras where the resolution was shittier and the videos were laggier, but we still romanticize it anyway. What's wrong with us? I don't know. Haha. <laughs> words and language. No matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. Now see that look in Mr. Pitt's eye, like 19th century literature, has nothing to do with going to business school or medical school, right? Maybe. But poetry, beauty, Romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. By absolute default, the concept of the English major is the most quintessentially dark academia thing ever. We're talking black coffee cups and cafes, red brick buildings, the glorious smell of antique books in a library. I could go on and on and on, but uh, because I've done so much dark academia on my channel already, and also because it was freaking 100 degrees outside when I was filming this video, I added a little summer twist here by switching out typically longer baggier bottoms for a more playful pleated white skirt and a normally darker blazer for a lighter beige one. I also pinned my hair up with my favorite brown claw clip that just so happens to complement the neutral tones throughout the fit because English majors, they always be reading and writing and journaling and brainstorming. Ever the creatives, I've just always noticed that they're constantly looking for inspiration. As a result, they can't afford any distractions, including annoying hairs in the face. <laughs> but of course, they do it in style, as they always do. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. How the heck does a 52-year-old, over-the-hill, milkshake machine salesman build a fast food empire with 1,600 restaurants at an annual revenue of $700 million. One word, persistence. I wanna say something, but you are all that I see. You got dynamite, that smile's gonna be the end of me. I bet you taste like chocolate. Can I have it for free? I'm an explosion, and that smile's gonna be the end of me. In my book, 
Marketing is all about standing out without showing off. It's this coveted art of building a brand that is memorable, profitable, novel, while also being lovable. So it only makes sense that a marketing major's fit would be unique with subtle flares from head to toe and dripping in boss girl energy. I tried to take every element of the typical business outfit, which I always associated with marketing majors, like presenting a deck to some team, you know what I'm saying, but I upscaled it with a twist. I incorporated white heels instead of black, pastel tones instead of the usual black, white, or gray, and I also layered two blazers for a two-tone look. It makes people do a double take because it adds dimension, you know? The devil is in the details, y'all, and it's always the little things that make a look more memorable and marketable. Wink, wink. I wanna say something, bud. You are all that I see. There is another element that's skewing the result. You think you found an undiscovered element? You have fundamentally misunderstood the atom. Our work's been nominated for the Nobel Prize for our discovery of radioactivity. Y'all, the market research I had to do for this fit, I am so dedicated, if I do say so myself, when planning this outfit, I, your resident liberal arts major, went the extra mile to ask my fellow STEM and chem majors who regularly attend labs, because spoiler, I have never stepped into a lab class and I don't plan to anytime soon, <laughs> about the lab dress code. And boy, did they enlighten me with a full laundry list. Apparently your lower body has to be fully covered at all times, like not even your ankles can be peeping out. I obviously went the extra mile again. I color coordinated my long socks to my shirt for extra credit, no big deal, whatever. Apparently you also can't wear tight pants because chemical spills can touch your skin. No loose sleeves because those floppy things can knock a beaker over or something. No open toed shoes because toes are A, gross and B, vulnerable, yeah. And of course, for full accuracy, I also had to throw on an oversized white button down for a makeshift lab coat. Okay, it was the closest thing I had. Give me a break. But yeah, I think I got everything. How do I look? Your newly transformed chem major. <laughs> My name is Erin Guell. Schools are divided into separate tribes. So what you're saying is, if the Latinos weren't here, or the Cambodians, or the Blacks, or the Whites, or whoever they are, if they weren't here, everything would be better for you. Ladies, stop acting like you're trying to understand our situation. Why don't you explain it to me? When I think of education majors, I think kind, nurturing, patient, patient, really emphasize patient, but also badass. Because it takes a certain type of person to want to take the entire future into their hands by willingly putting themselves into room with children and our future generations and schooling them. Literally. What a feat. So. To channel that badass energy, I opted for this dress that screams soft cottage core, summer wedding, but is simultaneously such a power move and such a statement piece. I freaking love the lace details all throughout the hem and the shoulders on this thing. You can just tell that whoever made it poured so much attention to detail into every seam. And also, can we talk about the fact that at least in my schools, it was such an unspoken norm for teachers to come to school wearing the quirkiest, flashiest, most colorful dresses and no one ever batted an eye. Like anything wacky was fair game for them to wear and i swear some of the boldest fashionistas i've met in my entire life were my elementary school teachers so pretty sure those childhood memories may have impacted my choices for this bold dress fit and that is a wrap on today's college majors fun fact now that you're at the end of this video i'll tell you a little secret i filmed this whole video without context so all my posing all my dancing i might as well have done it with my eyes closed my vision will not stop me from making these lookbooks for y'all i really hope you enjoyed let me know if you want a part five like comment subscribe i love you so much remember to get vaccinated for your vaccination vacations this hot girl summer love you bye